Hey, it's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. We are here on the stage at the Almond Theater, and we're here with Scott Plate at Ball and Wallace University. Hey, Tom. Hey, Scott. You have just recently been appointed as the associate professor here, oh, correct? Kind of cool. Yeah, right. I feel like I've come back home. It's really nice. Right. So I was in the conservatory for a long time, and I was when uh, Jack Winget, my colleague, re retired. I was given an opportunity to make a transition and head up a directing program in the BA, and I came over here. And this is the first show I've directed in my new capacity, which is cool. And you're directing uh, an American classic, maybe one of the best the, uh, theater productions of all time in America. You tell me, Our Town by Thornton Wilder. I would agree. It is. It's especially important now. It's a uniquely American play. So after the election, it was important to me to rediscover an American classic through the eyes of 2017 and see what that felt and looked like. Uh, is it is it interesting working with young people of this age and and knowing what you know about our town and how it's evolved for decades and and then maybe experiencing for the first time? It's the best watching them commit to this material that feels very remote to them at the beginning, but watching how they just roll up their sleeves and go to work um, and stretch themselves to meet these values which are written for people over all different kinds of ages and it's courageous and it's brave and I love them for trying. So this is going to be October 4 through 8 right here in the Almond Theater in the round with projections. It's a, such a cool production you've got here. Yeah. Talk about the, the theater program here at Ball and Wallace. It's award-winning and it's fabulous. You've been a freelancer and you've done uh, your own work for years in this community. Talk about the kind of experience these students get in the, in the theater program here. It's a truly pre-professional experience and Adam Heffern in the chair when he got here rewrote the curriculum to make it look as though uh, it felt as though there were concentrations in acting, directing, and stage management, and design tech. And now there's a BFA that's been added, which is an audition program in addition to the BA. So our major numbers are exploding. It's the only BFA in acting in the region. It's a, it's a good, big, thriving, healthy program. They have tremendous opportunities also to collaborate, don't they, with other arts organizations, real, legitimate, serious, world-class organizations in the region. The kids in this cast and on the production team are currently understudying for Great Lakes. Uh, they work at Dabama, faculty work professionally, so we try to keep those bridges intact and built and strong. We want them to understand what it's like to be professional while they're here. You've got some alums that uh, also have won awards. Max, I understand you have one recently. I just won a couple Emmys for her work on Stephen Colbert. We certainly did, yeah. Kate Sidley, who was a student here, worked in the costume shop, and she... It was always her, her older sister used to manage the costume shop, so did incredible stuff and just really carved her own way, which is what's kind of a nice byproduct of a, of a degree here. Kids learn how to do it on their own, and she did, and people are very proud of her. She's really a cool, cool little feather for her and for, for us too. So, yeah. Well, Scott, thanks for taking a few moments out of your rehearsal here. Can't wait to stick around and see what you got planned. Thanks for taking a few moments. Thanks, Tom. Great to see you again. It's Thomas Mulready from CoolCleveland.com. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.